hello everyone welcome back to my channel again this is channel agrotech and since last two videos this channel is helping you to build understanding about biotechnology with respect to agriculture and in future i hope this channel will definitely help you to build some understanding about agriculture do you know agriculture is a science yes this world is becoming more scientific more fascinating and more technical and in this technical world there are many different techniques and technologies available to help human being and biotechnology is one of the example and plant biotechnology inside the biotechnology is one of the excellent example which is helping human being and plant biotechnology that utilize either plant cells, plant cell components, some plant components such as seeds or seedlings or any chromosomes, genes and in combination with biological sophisticated technologies or methods or procedure, it will give some product or some methods or procedure that will help to adopt plant with specific need. This is why, this is what actually the plant biotechnology is. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you some information about plant biotechnology. Before going to the actual content, I would like to request you all, please help me to grow up my channel. And please friends, do not forget to like and share my channel. Please, please, please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And please guys, keep loving and keep leaving your response. I am so grateful, I am so happy for getting all of the responses on the comment section. I am also very grateful to your nice and lovely response on my videos. You guys are keep loving my videos so far and I also hope you are gonna love all of my videos. Thanks for uh, watching my videos. Um, please let's move on to the content. Today I'm going to give you the general definition of plant biotechnology, some types of plant biotechnology, its relation to the other science and actually the future scope. Now I would like to go with actual content, first definition and definition of plant biotechnology is actually very similar with definition of wholesome biotechnology. So, if you want to know more about biotechnology, if you want to know more about the introduction of biotechnology, I would like to request you all to go to my first video where I have given you introduction about biotechnology. But uh, here I'm gonna give you the uh, definition of plant biotechnology. Actually, plant biotechnology is set, uh, plant biotechnology is a set of techniques such as gene editing, gene modification cloning or transformation or in tissue culture or any other set of um, techniques that help to adopt plant with specific need or purpose and this is what plant biotechnology is um, this uh, plant biotechnology help to develop some new varieties or new traits in a plant that um, includes genetic modification, transformation or uh, any, any, any kind of modification in the gene or chromosome and it helps to develop the new kind of trait in that crop or in that plant that also includes the genetic modification or transgenic as well. This is what the plant biotechnology is. And now we have to know why plant biotechnology actually is for. And uh, giving the answer for why biotechnology, it mainly reflects with agricultural sector to increase production, productivity in staple um, crop sectors such as maize, rice, wheat worldwide and also in developing resistant like herbicide, insect pest resistant crops. Uh, such as um, like uh, insect resistant crop BT cotton which is resistant to ballworm and stress tolerant crops developing stress tolerant crop developing herbicide tolerant crop they all are with um, uh, like aiming to increase production productivity or uh, aiming to adopt in like changing climatic circumstances this is why biotechnology actually for types of plant biotechnology 
based on my understanding i would like to divide uh, or uh, i would like to give five different categories for types and first i would like to give genetic structure and mechanism as a type where it basically depends like it basically um, based on understanding and study purpose such as understanding and studying genetic rates genome sequence developing molecular markers and understanding um, diversity plant diversity developing gene pools and i would like to give this as a single type and another one is transgenic biology uh, where gene editing gene transformation and other editing tools comes and help to make a transgenic crop or genetically modified crops and another one is synthetic biology where um, we can make biofuels from plants eco-friendly biofuels and i would like to give another category another type as a tissue culture which is not actually uh, just understanding it's not actually a transgenic biology and it is also not a actual synthetic biology based on our understanding so i would like to give tissue culture as a different type and the bioinformatics bioinformatics is a new um, developing uh, set of science for biotechnology study where we can have uh, we can access the proven data set proven uh, data set and information about any gene any like sequences for any kind of um, uh, uh, like model plants model organisms and for plants there are very limited uh, set of um, data available uh, and for plant bioinformatics there is a limited access and um, i'm commonly using the arabidopsis information resource there and lotus base for the lotus saponicus plant and the arabidopsis is a model plant for um, studies in study in plants and lotus japonicus is uh, again a mod, uh, model legume for scientific research purpose and um, you can also uh, source some other common uh, bioinformatics uh, sites such as NCBI but for especially for plants it, it has very limited adoption and basically tear and lotus waste are general examples now the relation of plant biotechnology with other signs and based on my understanding I hope so these four other sciences are highly related with plant biotechnology First is food and agriculture, definitely. The plant biotechnology will definitely help and will, uh, is definitely related or linked with agriculture uh, to improve uh, like food production and productivity. Um, and another one is food and nutrition. Definitely plant biotechnology is helping to develop nutrition rich uh, like crops such as golden rice. So it's definitely related with food and nutrition. And another one is environmental science such as the making biofuels eco-friendly biofuels using the plant biotechnology therefore this is definitely related with environmental science as well and medical i would like to uh, like um, develop medical sector is a new emerging related science for plant biotechnology based on our ayurvedic um, studies I hope so. Uh, plant biotechnology also reflect with medical um, in Ayurvedic science, where uh, I hope so it can help to develop more uh, like um, enzymatic, more like uh, medicinal rich plant uh, with modification. So I hope so it also related with medical science, but with Ayurvedic medicine. And finally, here comes the scope, and I will be discussing some examples like where plant biotechnology can be scopeful in Nepal in future. But if you are more interested about scope of biotechnology, scope of biotechnology based on plant and animal sector in Nepal, I would like to request you to go to my second video where I have given you more detailed information about what are the current activities and what are the future scope of biotechnology in both plant and animal sector in Nepal. So it will be really helpful for you if you go through that video. But today I will be giving some examples where plant biotechnology can be really scopeful in future in Nepal. First is in like reducing poverty yes um, 
many people are under uh, poverty line in Nepal that we do have data many people are still poor and to reduce that poor uh, population we have to uh, like uh, increase um, uh, food production then it will uh, relate with the increasing agribusiness um, like opportunities that can help poverty or many people who do not have food uh, access then it will help to re- uh, like remove or eradicate not remove eradicate this poverty in future so if we can make our plants our agricultural cl- crops with uh, like um, more productivity traits in that crop we can definitely uh, eradicate poverty in future with using plant biotechnology and poverty related malnutrition definitely if people are poor they wouldn't have access to the nutrient nutrient food or the food rich with different minerals different nutrition so rural rural people are still do not have access to the nutritious food so to uh, eradicate the malnutrition problem plant biotechnology can play in role to make our agricultural crops nutrient rich so with the help of this we can eradicate malnutrition in future so uh, but plant biotechnology will come here to um, like as a scopeful subject or a scopeful area of science and poverty linked with malnutrition and malnutrition will link with poor health of people so to uh, like get rid of this problem health issue in ayurvedic medicine we can uh, we can actually apply plant biotechnology to make more medicinal plants more medicine rich plant and treat our people to eradicate from the health issue and for the malnutrition we can like treat our agricultural crops to make nutrient rich that like i think these three could be the major scope in future for plant biotechnology in nepal and finally i would like to thank you all for watching my video till last and please guys i would like to request to help me to grow my channel please do not forget to like and share my channel i hope you all again going to subscribe my channel and keep leaving the responses and it will help me to improve myself and my channel so your valuable suggestions are always will be appreciated thank you and see you on the next video